Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today the church keeps the memorial of Saint Joachim and Anna as we participate in this Eucharist. Let us ask our Heavenly Father to give us the grace to fulfill our responsibility as children of God. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. who bestowed on Saint Joachim and Anna this grace, that of them should be born the mother of your incarnate Son. Grant through the prayers of both that we may attain the salvation you have promised to your people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Let my eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease, for the virgin daughter of my people is shattered with a great wound, with a very grievous blow. If I go out into the field, behold, those pierced by the sword. And if I enter the city, behold, the diseases of famine. For both prophet and priest ply their trade through the land and have no knowledge. Have you utterly rejected Judah? Does your soul loathe Zion? 
why have you struck us down so that there is no healing for us we looked for peace but no good came for a time of healing but behold terror we acknowledge our wickedness o lord and the iniquity of our fathers for we have sinned against you do not spurn us for your name's sake do not dishonor your glorious throne remember and do not break your covenant with us are there any among the false gods of the nations that can bring rain or can the heavens give showers are you not he o lord our god we set our hope on you for you do all these things the word of the lord our response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord and the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord do not remember against us the guilt of former times let your compassion hasten to meet us for we have been brought very low our response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord help us o god our savior for the sake of the glory of your name free us and forgive us our sins because of your name our response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord let the groans of the prisoners come before you your strong arm reprieve those condemned to die response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord then we your people the flock of your pasture will give you thanks forever and ever from age to age we will recount your praise our response for the sake of the glory of your name free us o lord kindly rise for the gospel alleluia 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 the seed is the word of god christ is the sower all who come to him will live forever alleluia the lord be with you a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew at that time jesus left the crowds and went into the house and his disciples came to him saying explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field he answered the one who sows the good seed is the son of man the field is the world and the good seed is the sons of the kingdom the weeds are the sons of the evil one and the enemy who sowed them is the devil the harvest is the end of the age and the reapers are angels just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire so will it be at the end of the age the son of man will send his angels and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all law breakers and throw them into the fiery furnace in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father he who has ears let him hear the gospel of the lord praise to you o lord jesus christ my dear friends we might have seen gardeners at work and maybe we too might be very passionate of gardening 
Most of the gardeners, they plant seeds in a pot and then they tend them carefully till they uh, germinate properly. The gardener provides the seeds with enough water, with enough light. Once the seedlings are strong enough, the gardener transfers these plants or the pot into natural sunlight. But when he keeps them in the natural sunlight, he doesn't leave them, but he keeps a watch over them and provides the necessary nutrients whenever required for the plant to grow properly. My dear friends, in today's Gospel, Jesus explains to us the parable of the wheat and the weeds, wherein the farmer sowed good seed of the wheat. And unfortunately, they, they also sprang up the weeds. And those people who were working, the workers came and told the farmer, see, you had sown good seed. The weeds also have, uh, uh, have come up there. So let us separate the weeds uh, from the wheat. And then the farmer says, uh, let it be there till the harvest time. And then we will see what needs to be done. That time we will separate the weeds from the wheat. At first sight, it seems that the farmer is uninterested. He seems to do nothing, but he keeps a watch over what is happening. My dear friends, Jesus is a good gardener. He keeps a watch on us, the children of God. And Jesus explains the parable beautifully. He says, the sower is the son of man. The field is the world. The seeds are you and me, the sons and daughters of God. And God keeps a watch over us. Jesus keeps a watch over us. He sees our progress. He nurtures us. He fertilizes us, provides the uh, fertilizer whenever required. He trims us. He tends us. That is what Jesus is trying to tell us. And during the harvest time, we may be uh, able to acquire the gift that is uh, kept for us, the reward of heaven. When our lives are rooted in Christ, surely we will be able to recognize what God is doing to us. We might be in difficult situations of our life, but still God cares for us. God doesn't go away from us. When we go astray, there are ways and means God uh, uses to bring us back uh, to Him. There is the teachings of the church. We have the sacraments. If we go astray from God, we can always reconcile back to our Lord, to the sacrament of reconciliation. When we read the Word of God, the Word of God might strike us in certain spheres of our life and help us and throw light on us so that we may do what is pleasing before the eyes of God. That is our God. And God has given us parents, grandparents, elders, uh, the church to guide us in our life of faith. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Joachim and Anna. Now in all the four Gospels we will not find the name of Saint Joachim and Anna as, uh, uh, as, the, as the parents of uh, Mary and the grandparents of Jesus. But in the proto-Gospel of James which dates back uh, to the second century, the names of the parents of Mary are mentioned. Anna means grace, Joachim means Yahweh saves. And uh, the proto-gospel of James uh, mentions that uh, Mary was a result of a fervent prayer of a long childless marriage of Joki and Anna. Joki and Anna prayed to God for a child and God gave them Mary. And Joki and Anna undoubtedly 
taught the tenets of faith to our mother mary she knew the laws of the jewish tradition she knew the commandments she was able to make decisions and this is very much evident in her life as we celebrate this feast today let us keep two things in mind this feast of uh, saints joki manana reminds us as parents as grandparents and as elders we have a responsibility towards our children to look at their upbringing and education of our child of our children we need to help them to grow in faith to become good children to become good sons and daughters of god that is our responsibility and secondly as children we have a responsibility towards our parents grandparents and our elders the fourth commandment reminds us respect your parents and elders we need to fulfill that we have received faith through our parents to our grandparents we have been guided to grow in the light of christ by them we have been nourished we have been helped to grow up as human beings we need to thank god for the gift of our parents and grandparents maybe our parents are living today let us ask our parents grandparents are living today let us ask god to give them good health if they are uh, not with us today let us specially pray that god may give them eternal rest and as parents grandparents and elders let us fulfill our responsibility towards such children let us pray for this grace in this eucharistic celebration kindly rise pray brethren that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord, may the lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church receive we pray o lord these offerings of our homage and grant that we may merit a share in the same blessing which you promised to Abraham and his descendants through Christ our Lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for in the marvelous confession of your saints 
you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled their great example lends us courage their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in our exaltation we acclaim of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks He gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread, this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death to lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope philip neri our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed virgin Mary, mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Joseph of Ars, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen. at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all this distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now and now forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Since we cannot receive Jesus at this moment sacramentally, let us make an act of spiritual communion and experience the presence of Jesus who is in us, who dwells in our hearts, who abides in us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
kindly rise let us pray o god who will that your only begotten son should be born from among humanity so that by a wonderful mystery humanity might be born again from you we pray that in your kindness you may sanctify by the spirit of adoption those who have fed with the bread you give your children through christ our lord amen there is one announcement jaim parsekar son of our scrivan digambar parsekar passed away yesterday funeral will be held today at 3:30 pm at stella maris chapel miramar and burial at santinis cemetery let us pray for his soul the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks, thanks to be to god Oh